What is up everyone, my name is Exceptional and today I want to show you everything you need to know about the swamp. The swamp is the first real challenging biome in Valheim. The meadows and black forest are nothing compared to this. This is due to a lot of strong enemies and the location of the swamp. In this video I'm going to show you how to find the swamps, what enemies you will encounter and how dangerous they are, what materials and items you can find here and at the end of the video I will go a little bit more in depth and how to make sure you can make it through the swamp with the least amount of deaths and trouble. But before we go into the video, if you found this video helpful, drop a like, it will help me out a lot, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as well. Let's get into it. So, just after you have defeated the Elder, how do you even find the swamp? I think we all know by now that every map is different, so there is no exact location for the swamp. But all swamp locations have something in common. First of all, the chance you have to sail a bit is very high. For me, I found the first swamp all the way north of the island with the Elder. But after sailing across the ocean for quite some time, I encountered multiple swamps in different locations. Whenever you are sailing, you will recognize the swamp very easily due to the dead trees on the shore. Also, you can see it on the map as well. It has a brownish color. All swamp locations are very close to an island. So the easiest way to find any swamp is to hop in your boat and sail close to the island and you will definitely find a swamp sooner or later. Whenever you see the swamp, you should probably check it out. But beware, the enemies in the swamp are much more dangerous than you are used to. Make sure you have a bow and some arrows to keep them away from you. Let's go through all the swamp monsters and what items they can drop. You have your basic skeletons, one you have definitely fought already. There will be skeletons with bows and swords and shields. Whenever you kill them, they drop bone fragments and sometimes a skeleton trophy. There are also draugers. These zombie-like warriors also have bows and some of them have axes. They do a lot of damage and they are definitely a bit tougher than the skeletons. The draugr also spawn as elites from time to time. These are very strong, so fight them wisely. They drop entrails and occasionally a draugr trophy. There are also leeches in the water. They are very annoying but very easy to defeat with a bow. Don't fight them in the water, if they hit you, they will poison you. And that could be the end of you as well. A leech always drops a blood bag. And the most annoying enemy in the swamps are the blobs. Big green jumping blobs that come straight for you. Their poison damage is very dangerous and you want to avoid close combat as much as you can. If you already have an iron mace, you can one shot them. If you don't, use your bow. Blobs always drop ooze and sometimes a blob trophy. And the rarest enemy in the swamp is the Surtling. These are flaming creatures that throw fire at you and inflict burning damage. Keep your distance and use your bow. Also, they cannot go into the water without dying. So keeping some water in between you and them is a good idea. Whenever they are defeated, they drop coal and sometimes even circling cores. And last but not least, there are raids. These are flying ghosts that move very slow. They do have some help, but if you keep your distance, they shouldn't be a problem. A raid has the chance to drop a chain. So now that you know all the dangers of the swamp and what items the enemies drop, what are the materials you want to find here? There are basically three materials that are essential for you. The first one is Ancient Bark. Ancient Bark is another wood type that unlocks quite some different weapons for you to craft. You do not need a bronze axe to farm it, so a flint one is good enough. The second and most important one is Iron. Iron can only be found in the crypts scattered around the swamps. Each swamp has only one crypt. The crypt is basically a dungeon with enemies and loot. In the crypt there are two ways to find iron ore. One is from the chests across the crypt. You won't always find iron ore in these chests but there is a chance. And the other is from mining muddy scrap piles. You can mine this with a flint axe and there is a lot of it in all the crypts. The drop rates are pretty low but if you complete a whole crypt, you can walk away with around 20 to 40 iron ore. And the last item is the withered bones. These bones are required as a sacrifice for the next boss, Bone Mass. You will need 10 of them and you can farm them the same as the iron ore, in chests or muddy scrap piles. So, now that we know how to find the swamp, what we can expect there and what items you can get, but how do you make sure you can survive the swamp and get the most out of it? Of course, there are many different ways, but I will tell you what I think is the best way. Before you go on the boat, bring enough stuff for a portal and a small base and some protection. Whenever you find the swamp, make a base and place the portal. 
Don't forget, you need to have a portal in your big base with the same name to make sure it works. So name your home portal, home, before you go. Whenever you have your base and portal up and running, build a little fence around it, the enemies in the swamp will definitely start attacking you. Now that you have connected your home base and swamp base, you are already 80% there. Go make a lot of flint arrows, food and a few pickaxes. Grab your swamp key and go and look for a crypt. Take your time with the crypt because it will be dangerous in there. Loot whatever you can and rinse and repeat. This was my full guide on the swamp. I hope this helped you in any way possible. I don't think I forgot anything, but if I did, let me know in the comments what it was. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.